Welcome to the next tutorial for making a shoot 'em up in Unity. So last time we uh, started making this bullet here. And it's actually not going to be too easy to make this whole bullet system, but we're going to do it in this video hopefully and finish it. So the first step is going to be to take our spaceship and creating an empty game object with control shift n and dropping it inside of it and we're going to call it A. Just A. And now we're going to make another one and we're going to call it B. Now point A is going to fall in the nozzle of this gun, and point B is going to fall in the nozzle of this gun. You could put these in whichever nozzle you want. I don't know what your spaceship looks like. You can have as many of these points as you want, but this just works the best. And you know what? I'm actually going to call it um, 0 and 1, because I might use a loop. So if you have more, just do 2, 3, 4, and so on. And basically we're going to spawn in the laser at that exact point and then have it shoot from the nozzle from there. And that's the gist of what we're going to do this video. So let's work on our let's work on our ship first and apply our latest changes to it. So we're going to need a new update thing which will be if um, input.keydown or get key down get key down um, key code. And we're going to make it be our spacebar. So I don't know where that key thing came from. Key code dot space. And that will get the space key on our keyboard. And now we want to make it so when we hit the case key, uh, the space key, it's going to call shoot. Which doesn't exist. So we're going to make shoot. And we're going to need a new public game object called bullet and we're going to need to drag from our prefab folder um, our bullet onto the player so we'll take our player now and we'll find that little bullet empty spot and we'll just drag our bullet onto there so now we have nothing really new but now we could work with our our bullet so if we shoot we're going to spawn it in at those points, which means that we need to get those points in our await function. So we're going to have um, our game objects A and B. A is going to equal to transform.get. We transform.find A dot game object. And B is going to equal transform.find B dot game object, which will just find the two uh, things within them, or we actually name them to 0 and 1. That's annoying, I don't know. I can really... It's kind of stupid, actually. Oh well, I guess we'll just have to do... Um, we'll have to rename them A and B. <laughs> My bad. Because I guess I'm just not going to use a loop. Um, all them A and B again, just to prevent any confusion at all. So we're finding A and B. And now when we shoot, it's going to instantiate a bullet at our um, A dot position, A dot transform dot position, and then our equator neon will be identity. And we got to take this actually, and I mean not for now. We can just do this, but later on we're going to change something else. So we're going to instantiate at A and B whenever we press our space bar. This is going to be really loud, I'm sorry, because I don't have a shock resistor for my keyboard, my microphone, but whenever we shoot stuff, the bullets are flying out. And the reason why it's pushing us back is because they're actually solid objects we're creating, which we don't want to do. So let me make them all um, triggers by choosing the is trigger thing down here and pressing apply. Now they're all triggers, so when I create bullets, it's creating them, but they're just useless at the moment. But they do exist. And I also kind of want to make it be so when you hold the key down, it, it continuously shoots them, which we can also do. Now, if I did this, I change this to get key, then it will continuously shoot them. But we'll just need to add a, um, a delay. So by changing that to get key, now when I hold it down, we get like a constant stream of bullets. But that would be a little overpowered, wouldn't it? <laughs> kind of cool to draw with, though, I won't lie. We. Okay, so we gotta make our bullets go straight now, which means we actually need some sort of logic on them. So let's do that. 
So when we make a new bullet, we'll make the bullet script that will be attached to each bullet. And in our bullet script, we need a public function or boolean which will decide up or down. Actually, we'll make it an int. We'll call it a direct dire for direction. We'll make it be one. And we'll make a void um, change direction. Call it direction, I guess, not dire. Make it public, change direction, and then whenever you call it, it just says dire equals or times equals negative one. There we go. So just flip our direction. And on update, we just want to make a constant bullet speed, I guess, which will be um, whatever I decide I want it to be. So um, RB, which we need our rigid body. That's right. That's right. Yeah, just forgetting something. That stuff. And we're going to avoid awake. And the usual RB equals get component rigid body. There it is. And there we go. I don't know why I did that. RB dot equals get component. Where's your body 2D? Okay. Now in our update, we want to make sure we're going in the right direction. So RB dot um, velocity equals our um, new vector 2, which will be a combination of 0 for our y and our speed times our direction, which I guess will be four seems fine enough, or five times direction. There you go. Maybe even six. I'll try six. Now when I get in, we have a bullet that just kind of doesn't move for some reason. There's no rigid body 2D attached. The bullet, that's why I never attach a rigid body 2D. So we gotta attach a rigid body 2D. Turn off gravity. We don't want any drag actually, because it doesn't really matter. We'll just freeze rotation anyways. And now our bullet is going in the x direction because for some reason I put the zero on the y. I don't know why I did that. I probably even said that out loud, which is totally wrong. My bad. It's not easy making these tutorials. And none of the other bullets do that because we forgot to apply it. So now that we apply all of our changes, our bullets just shoot a constant stream of bullet. And they're going really slow, which I don't like. So we're going to make this be like a 10 now because we're playing a shoot 'em up and it should look pretty cool. There we go. Now we're just shooting this massive stream of bullets. Which I would even make it maybe a 12. Just for the heck of it. And we just need a delay on this now. So in our spaceship we're going to add a little delay called int delay set equal to zero. In our update we want our the very end of our update actually we want our delay to increase and since it starts at zero it's going to go zero and each update will go up one and now whenever we shoot we're going to set our delay equal to zero again to reset it however it will only let us shoot if our delay is greater than five which is like the amount of frames in between each shot we want so you can make that whatever delay you want it to be so now that's five we shoot at a rate of every five frames we shoot one bullet when we hold down space that's pretty cool. And if you want to make your A and B look more like it's coming out of your nozzles, you can line it up better with your nozzle, and now it looks more like it's coming out of the nozzle. And I would say that's even too fast, honestly. Maybe if there's like an upgrade, we can decrease our delay if we get a pickup or something. I would half that, though. There we go. And now we're shooting our double lasers, and we can just mess up some spaceships. It's pretty cool. Okay, so the spaceships don't actually react to our bullets because our bullets don't know how to kill enemies yet, but we're going to change that. So void on trigger enter 2D. Um, the collider that enters the trigger, collider 2D, I think. Or is it just collider? Collider, I think. They use triggers? It's collider 2D, I'm pretty sure. Collider 2D, cool. And now we want to see if cool.gameobject.tag. I don't know why I put a comma there. .gameobject.tag 
is equal to an enemy, right? Then we want to, um, well, this actually depends if it's an enemy's bullet or a player's bullet. So that creates a problem that we'll have to fix. But for now, we're just going to make it so these bullets hurt enemies. Unless we just make a player bullet and an enemy bullet, and then we just have a little, like, two different classes, but whatever. Um, so if it hits an enemy, it's going to call coal.gameobject.getComponent enemy, and then we're going to damage our enemy. Uh, damage our enemy, which doesn't exist, actually, at the moment. So we just have to make our damage public, and now it will exist. Ah. Uh, and now we just have to uh, change our change our text in our enemy fire changes. Here we are, fast enemies here. We just have to change their health to like two maybe. Apply it, and now our fast enemies will be murdered after being hit by two bullets, which they shoot in pairs of two. So what do you know? We also want our bullet to destroy itself when it comes in contact with an enemy, or anything for that matter, I guess. So we'll just destroy ourselves. Destroy our game object instantly. Here it is, folks. Now when we shoot, if our bullet is a success, that's right, it's destroying itself on ourselves. This is why we need to make it the only if it hits an enemy, it will destroy itself. Otherwise it doesn't consider it hitting something. because It's just coming out of our nozzles. There we go. Now the, the bullets will destroy themselves if they hit an enemy. And we can add particle effects too. We can actually delete this bullet. We don't really need it here anymore. We're done working on most of it. We can just work on it from here now. So we need to decide, I guess depending on the direction the bullet's going, if it's an enemy's bullet or a player's bullet, which makes sense. So we're going to check see if it's any enemy bullet if direction is um, equal to 1. Right? So if the direction is equal to 1, it's a player bullet because it's going up. Otherwise, we're going to look and say that's an enemy bullet. Aha! In that case, it's looking to hit for players, and if it hits a player, it's going to call our spaceship.damage and destroy itself. So now, if it's an enemy's bullet, we will um, suffer damage. Direction. Direction is equal to one. Um, what? I mean, I'll just throw these on for the hell of it. You don't really need them, though. But I'll throw them on. If it's, that's what's wrong. I feel like it's another... I guess that is what's wrong. Yeah, make sure you have your brackets there. So now these are player bullets, because they're going up. But if they were going down, then they'd be enemy bullets. And that's the difference. So we can actually just make enemies shoot now the next time, which is cool. Default game object type player is already registered. Why is it telling me that? Default. Do I have? I'm not really sure why it's telling me that. I mean, I have. There's nothing wrong with what I did, and I don't see it's. I don't know why it's telling me that. Maybe I'll look into that later. It doesn't seem to be a problem though, because we have a working shoot 'em up for the most part. So next time we'll work on spawning and then we'll just improve some enemies and we're basically done anyway. So thanks for watching. Tune in next time.